Our top story, as some Oakland students head back to campus for the first time, some special needs kids aren't returning to the classroom. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba spoke to one parent who's desperate to get her son back in school. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth and Alan George goes here to the Emerson School in Oakland as part of a kindergarten through second grade special day class. It was not chosen to come back starting today. Come here, George, come sit. While some in Oakland Unified are getting back to a classroom at least part time starting today, Jessica Haywood's first grader, George, is not. He's in a special day class at Emerson School because of a degenerative genetic condition that presents on the autism spectrum. You know, his teacher was getting the class ready and we were getting ready to take him back and then um, just a few I think it was Friday or Thursday last week she let us know that special education is was not going to be going back to school specifically kids in special day special education TK through second graders were scheduled to return in person this week but not all campuses are open some Oakland teachers opted out of returning this week because they hadn't received their second vaccine dose yet others because of child care. Under the terms of AB 86, which provided $2 billion in funding to districts to get back to in-person learning, students with disabilities are at the top of the priority list. OUSD Superintendent Kyla Johnson Trammell says special needs students are being prioritized, but Georgia's school Emerson is only partially reopened. If you think about equity, students who um, need the support the most, so foster youth, unhoused, um, um, students who've really struggled with being able to connect in terms of technology. Distance learning has been very difficult. Like he has really good teachers, but it's just been really hard and progressively getting harder. You want your Zoom, Georgie? No. No Zoom? OUSD says no, all schools see. in the district should be reopened by April 19th. Jessica isn't sure she believes that. Worried about the fall, you know, them not being back at school and just worried about George falling further and further behind. She's got a message for those at the negotiating table. I think I just plead with them to just try to do the thing that's morally correct and the thing that science tells them is correct. I don't, I don't. Andrea, any word on what percentage of OUSD teachers plan to be back on April 19th? Well, Elizabeth, a survey taken of teachers puts that number somewhere in the 80th percentile range of teachers that plan to be back on April 19th. There may be some teachers who opt out because of health reasons. Others may take a full-time sub. All right. All right, Andrea, thank you.